chocolate milk, to serve or not to serve. The worry is over childhood obesity, prompting schools to take chocolate milk out of cafeterias. But the dairy industry will not go down without a fight. School officials say that flavoring milk is the only way to get students to drink it, while the parents argue that we should not be serving an 8-ounce drink that can contain up to 5 teaspoons of sugar. According to the New York Times, 71% of milk served nationwide is flavored. In New York City, school food officials say fat-free chocolate milk fills nearly 60% of the 100 million cartons served each year. Something less controversial, milk, or is it? Take a look. Soon, Dante might not be able to get his favorite drinks at school. Chocolate milk. Florida's Board of Education is moving forward with a plan to ban all sugary drinks. Board members argue soda and chocolate milk contribute to childhood obesity. Childhood obesity is also contributing to type 2 diabetes more in children, hypertension, high cholesterol. So Florida is the first state in the nation to propose this ban mm -hmm. on flavored milk. No chocolate flavored milk, no strawberry flavored milk. And of course, yeah. there are differing views, just mm -hmm. like on circumcision, because 70% yeah. of milk consumption is in the flavored form in a, in a school. Right. 70%. Right. And, oh, and, and this, yeah, I'm torn about this, because milk, it's nutritious. Mm -hmm. It's a good meal. Yeah. It's got a good source of complex carbs, protein, calcium. And but, you continue as adults. Right. Yeah. But that's... Regular milk, unflavored plain milk, not mm -hmm. the stuff filled with sugar. Some schools that did get rid of the flavored milks, uh, milk consumption went down by about 35%. Milk contains calcium, protein, and vitamin D. All three of these nutrients are deficient in approximately three quarters of teenagers and adults. In July 2010, a study was done by the School Nutrition Association to see how much milk students would drink if flavored milk was not available. The study showed that elementary school children drank 35% less milk on average when flavored milk was removed. But according to the Childhood Obesity Task Force, chocolate milk has twice the sugar of white. If a child chooses chocolate milk instead of white milk each day, they would consume over 5 pounds of extra sugar in one school year. However, the majority of milk that is offered in schools today is low sugar and low fat milk, so the apprehension associated with serving fattening milk is no longer present.